Hi, this is Mato. I get emails from some beautiful people saying that I am the best chess presenter on the YouTube. But have you heard of Simon Williams? Have you heard of his Jinja GM method? Simon Williams is brilliant presenter and fantastic chess teacher. Three things happen when you buy his DVD. First, Ginger GM Simon Williams can pay his rent and in turn he can make more free YouTube videos for you. Second thing, I get a bit of a commission and for that I can buy my bread and butter and in turn I can make free YouTube videos for you. And thirdly, this is the most important thing. Your chess knowledge will greatly increase and your rating will skyrocket. Everybody is a winner. In this video I will show you a game between Simon Williams and David Ledger. This game was played in England in 2014. Simon Williams had white pieces and he started with a 4 bird opening with black pieces. Simon likes to play f5 against white's d4, the Dutch defense. David Ledger played d5, e3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, queen to d6, knight to f3, bishop to g4, b3, knight to h6, bishop to b2, black to move. F6 was played. A6 was seen in the past and it worked well for black. And if bishop takes on c6, queen takes on c6. In the game we have f6. Simon Williams castled kingside and David Ledger castled queenside. Games like this are always great fun with the opposite side castling. White to move c4 perhaps intending to open the c file. Knight to f5, knight to c3, d takes on c4, white to move. Perhaps bishop takes on c4 was expected. Instead, Simon Williams captured the pawn. b takes on c4. The reason for pawn takes pawn on c4 will be revealed a few moves later. It is black to move. This is now a very important moment of the game. Note that the pawn on d2 is defended by the knight. And if the knight is removed, then black is winning the pawn. So David Ledger went for it. Bishop takes on f3. However, knight to h4 would be a better move. Bishop takes on f3. If now rook takes on f3, queen takes on d2. Simon Williams recaptured with the queen and black happily won the pawn, attacking the bishop on b2. Black is a pawn up, temporarily, but behind the development we have a case of activity against material. Bishop takes on c6, pawn takes on c6, and now Queen takes on c6. Simon Williams is not worried about queen takes bishop on b2, which black thought was possible. Rook to d6. What is wrong with queen takes on b2? Perhaps in his earlier calculations, play with black pieces thought he could do that. But it's a bad idea. Why? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? The winning move for white is knight to b5 threatening queen takes pawn on c7 checkmate. If black defends with the rook, then white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? Queen to a8 checkmate. Okay, back to our game. Rook to d6 was played. Queen to a8 check. King to d7. White move, surely white has to do something about the bishop on b2. Do you agree? Yes? No? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? 
Simon Williams played a brilliant move. Knight to e4, attacking the queen, sacrificing the bishop. This is a very sneaky move. Black to move. Queen takes pawn on e3 check. What's wrong with queen takes bishop? If queen takes bishop, then what happens then? Can you see the move? There is checkmate in one. Knight to c5 checkmate. Back to our game. Queen takes pawn on e3 check. King to h1. Queen to b6. White to move. How would you defend the bishop? What would you do? Perhaps knight takes on d6 could be played. It's not a bad move. But Simon Williams played even better one. Bishop to a3. c5 may be coming. Black has no good move. David Ledger played with black pieces. Wanted to resign. But he knew that people on YouTube are very critical of an early resignation. So he decided to suffer a bit longer. So, to avoid c5 fork, rook to c6, avoiding one trouble, but there comes another. Rook from a to d1 check. Knight to d6. Is there a better move than that? How about king to e6? Is that better? Then queen to e8. And black's position is hopeless. So we have knight to d6. And now white plays the obvious, the obvious move is simple and the best c5. Which piece to save? Queen to a5. White played the move and black resigned. The move is c takes on d6. Black resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Queen takes bishop, d takes on c7, discover check, king takes pawn, queen to d8 check, king to b7, queen to d7 check, king to b6, rook to b1 check, king to a5, and then queen takes pawn on a7 check, rook to a6, queen to c7 check, rook to b6, queen takes rook check, king to a4. Should we stop here? Perhaps for those who believe that it is still too early to resign, we will continue. How will you continue? Perhaps the kiss of death is suitable. Queen to b5. Checkmate. What do you think of this game? Everybody has a favorite presenter. Some people like King's Krasha, some like Sokolovic Pasha, and my favorite is Simon Williams. Buy his DVD and find out why. And what if DVD is not good and you are upset with your purchase? Well, if you are upset, ask for your money back. You can't lose. And what if you are very, very, very upset, like Dragon? Well, in that case, visit IHS shop with a gun and ask for everybody's money back. Just kidding. Sometimes I make a joke. Once I made two jokes, but I will finish on a serious note. Are you ready? Are you sure you are ready? I was doing my research and I concluded that Ginger GM method is the best method that IHS has on offer.